What is going on guys? Wiser here bringing the recap of one of the last wars for Invicta. Uh, it was a random matchup against the Kansas City Chiefs. No, not the football team. The awesome Clash of Clans clan. Top on over. Check out what happened. 85-79 was a victory. Although the score is a little bit skewed because Invicta did have a reasonably good advantage. We had four Town Hall 11s and four Town Hall 10s. They had four Town Hall 11s and only one Town Hall 10. This was actually a 9.5. Um, so definitely, you know, having those extra six bully attacks made a huge difference because the KC Chiefs did a really good job uh, base building and I believe we had a, a way way more bully attacks than we normally had to use and uh, it ended up sort of being the difference in the score so um, you know hats off KC Chiefs you guys are awesome really good uh, base building over there really good attacks um, kind of just check out what they did to our bases uh, missed a couple nines there, and that ends up being the difference, right? Uh, I've talked about it before. It's really where uh, every clan needs to start, just focusing on clearing the nines with the nines and uh, using the least amount of bullies possible. Um, you know, Victor <laughs> used a lot of bullies this this uh, war. I'm not uh, not gonna lie, it was a tough war all, all around. Both sides on the both sides the nines struggled. Um, yeah, so crazy war. Uh, some really nice replays in here I want to show you. So just going to jump right on into this. One there we go. I always like to just double check that my mic is in fact working. I don't know how many recaps I've done before. <laughs> There's no sound at the end. Um, anyhow, moving on. Let's just jump right in at the bottom here. My KO, nice six-pack war for this guy. Brings five golems and 22 wizards. When was the last time you saw a Town Hall... Uh, Town Hall 9 uh, attack like this. Uh, the reason he does this, I think, is just because of the way the compartments kind of go. He brings four jump spells. This is just absolutely crazy. <laughs> so three golems go in, right? Just going to open all this up. Uh, wizards in behind, 2-2-2, two, two, and two, just taking care of all the high hit point stuff. Poison goes down over top. A little bit off that poison. He really wanted to get that queen, uh, but no big deal. Wizards are in. King is in. Queen is in. They're going to take down the defensive queen in one moment. There she goes. Uh, everything's just going to move into this compartment and continue doing work, right? All these Town Hall 8 defenses is kind of why I think he recognized this. He only has level 20 and 19 heroes, though. So it's not like he's using these golems and just abusing his level 30 heroes. Uh, you know, level 19 king, 20 queen. Uh, poison goes down, taking care of the CC troops. Just going to start feeding Wiz. Still has 12 Wiz in the bag. Um, jump spell is going to unlock this section of the base. The way he looks at it, if you look, four jump are kind of going to let him into the entire base. So as long as he can kind of keep everything moving with the golems in this kind of uh, counterclockwise rotation, he's looking fine and dandy, right? Still has two golems he hasn't even dropped, has 10 wizards still, just wants to continue moving everything around in this counterclockwise motion around this sort of dead zone area with that clan castle in it. King is now uh, in there. Uh, ability is used, burns it up. <clears throat> continues his way along. Here goes that next jump spell I'm talking about. He unlocks the outside as well. Let's this golem in. Let's everything in up to this section. Is going to do the same thing up here. Um, going to drop that CC golem here in one moment. All these wizards still has five more wiz. He's going to drop right in behind here. <laughs> nice and slow attack, but oh my goodness. How did he pull this one off? So there goes that last golem. <clears throat> just kind of unlocking this section. All those wizards are in. He still has a bazillion wizards, a few buildings to go. Very nice tree star, Mikhail. In the bag. Beautiful. So, moving on here. Let's just jump one up. My buddy Jake Patino. <clears throat> Bringing one of those newer uh, 14 Valak, new uh, sort of cold blooded, uh, just ton of Valk attacks. Uh, so the cold blooded golem in on this archer tower. Three minis on that storage there. I really like that. Few wizards down. Not kind of not getting his letting his wizards get too far on the outside of that funnel. Just gonna open up this section of wall now. Bam, bam, bam. <clears throat> 14 Valkyries are about to make their way into this base with the queen. The king is in. Golem's now making his way in there. <clears throat> Just going to take out this compartment. And the jump spell is going to go down. Unlock a big, big section of this base. I think it goes down right over here, right? And it lets him in. There it is. I would have pushed it over just a touch, right? Just so you can get all of this action because that jump would have connected uh, both those corners. No big deal. All those Valkyries under the heel are just completely fine. They're going to continue their way into this little Tesla farm. Get huge value there. Watch how quickly these Teslas go down. Boom, boom, boom. See you later. <clears throat> 
Hogs are now surgically being deployed down from the six o'clock area. A few on each defense, just going to force the Valkyries in. And this clock, uh, counterclockwise rotation uh, has all these hogs in there. Has a bunch of Valks that get uh, kind of a good reroute on that the re, uh, fading jump spell there at the last second. Trigger those DGBs for the hogs just in time because any second these hogs were going to beeline right over those bombs themselves. Maybe get a single trigger, but no big deal. Valks in there doing tanking. Hogs are going to take care of that level one expo on that archer tower like nothing. Clean up time. King and Valks finally burst through the wall down here. <clears throat> that is treat in the bag for Patino with the swag poisons. Nice job, my friends. Right. 22. We got Tritosh moving in here. Uh, I want to show this one because... Uh, he gets really good value out of these dragons. What he recognizes, he's doing a drag swap, right? Most of the time you bring one or two dragons for a drag swap if you want to swap the queen. Specifically when the king's out front there, you probably want to bring at least two. But what he recognizes here, there's no danger. The air defense are all on the bottom. If you draw a line from 9 o'clock through 3 o'clock, all the air defense are on that bottom section. So if he drops a few dragons up here after he gets his kill squad going from the 6 o'clock uh, position... The drags are just going to continue with cleanup and not have any danger whatsoever. So just kind of see how this works out. Wall opens up, creates that funnel. Golem's going to go in. Keep in mind, only brings the cold-blooded Golem here with a handful of Valks. I think it was five or six Valkyries. Valks making their way into this base just as soon as... Look how quickly they start attacking. As soon as they touch those buildings, they just start attacking right away. I think that's really what the difference is for the Valks lately. Uh... You know, so little scary moment here, right? Has to heal uh, underneath CC troops. Queen is so lucky she didn't take a walk on the outside of the base. She steps in now, starts locking onto that dragon, takes out that dragon. Here comes his drag swap. Just like I was saying, they're immediately in on these heroes. Um, soaks up some traps, but no big deal. Take down the take down the king, takes down the queen. They're just going to get in there and continue to get great, great value because boom. Sends in the hogs from uh, three, sending in hogs from nine. They're going to make their way to these air defense. Uh, there's only one air defense remaining. The hogs don't quite make it there, but the drags end up taking a perfect kind of reroute. They go from the core on over, start cleaning up that three o'clock section. Hogs are going to work their way um, over to the expo, the cannon, and the mortar. They're really the only defensive structures remaining that matter. That uh, air defense is going to go down with all that stuff. Bam, bam, down goes the air D. Queen stepping up, helping out. Just enough hogs to take out that last mortar. It's cleanup time. We've got th all, uh, sorry, two of his three dragons still alive, just smashing stuff. <clears throat> Very nice hit, Tritosh. Tree in the bag. All right, little ways up here. Really sexy hits in there, but like I said, some uh, quite a few bullies. So really fantastic job, KCGs. My man Oki, a uh, very interesting attack here for Oki brings a, a shattered uh, Valk entry. So two golems, seven uh, Valkyries are going in here. He's got seven ways to help create his funnel. Gonna drop those heroes. Gonna open up this wall. Let everything into this location. Now he knows this uh, this jump first jump spell. He's gonna drop basically drop two jump spells, uh, one after another. And just let them in through this whole middle section of the base. Now the goal is to get those golems right into this little pocket. The king in there behind. And hopefully he ends up, because of the second jump, hopefully he ends up at least getting one, if not two, all four of those air defense in the process. So poison goes down and take care of those gobs. Um, you know, drops the Valkyries in, right? Once uh, there's no threat of the CC troops locking onto them. Uh, all those gobs get taken in one swipe by the, uh, by the Valkyries. Jump spell number one goes down, letting everything into that queen. Um, King goes in there, locks on. Valkyries go in there, lock on. Dow goes at level 30 queen like nothing. Second jump spell, down it goes. Going to just let everything move in. The king takes a bit of a hike up here to this storage. Uh, queen takes a bit of a walk around the base, but it ends up working out perfectly. But think about if his queen had just stepped into this compartment. She would have had access to that air defense, that Tesla, right? Would have been, all that stuff would have got taken out in the process. And then watch how close he is to not getting this next air defense. Has a couple Valkyries in there, some Golemite still doing some work, right? King and and a Valkyrie. One Valkyrie and one King, I believe, get locked onto this uh, gold storage. It's got to hit the King's ability here in one second, but just in time, down goes the air defense, down goes the expo. 
Boom. So here comes this single lava hound he's brought. Two balloons, two balloons, two balloons, two balloons, all on these outer defenses. Going to force everything into this last little section of compartment of defenses. Queen's out on the outside here doing work. Even drops the balloon to kind of help try and protect her a little bit. Um, maybe a little early on that. If he dropped the balloon right like now and uh let the queen step up no i don't think it would have mattered that storage would have gotten in the way uh plus there's two archer towers there so that queen goes down anyways but look he's got so many balloons moving in now um the hound does burst so he does have a couple pups around the base staves i think four at least three if not four cleanup wizards he had there uh yeah four because he's got one in the bag still drops him on the town hall just getting rid of the high hit point stuff saves the one wizard to drop in here because as soon as these balloons do their job take out that arch tower take out that mortar down goes that cleanup wizard and there's barely any of the base left to go anyways Oki the Great it's tree in the bag awesome awesome and let's check out my man where is it Jacob 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 there we go <clears throat> Jacob is just a master of breaking down bases. I just, um, you know, this guy is just unbelievable. He sees uh, attacking in a whole on a whole different level than a lot of us do. I think. Um, so check out this earthquake. Gonna get doesn't quite get that corner, but just kind of let lets this open alleyway be even more open with the earthquake. Um, I think he really, really wanted to get that corner, so I think the earthquake was a little bit off, but no big deal, right? So uh, going in with this. Uh, First goal in there, doing some tanking, creating that funnel. Funnel goes down, nice kind of army camps on either side of that little uh, peninsula of the building, so or the base. So it's just creating a natural funnel, right? Valk, so you can just drop on those buildings. You're going to walk right in here. Now, does not have, like I said, does, did not nail that EQ. I think he could have got that corner and still got that corner to let both sides open. I think that was what his goal was there. Uh, but it doesn't matter when you got Valks under a heel. Uh, they just do so much attack, uh, so uh, such a good job attacking uh, everything now and they attack so quickly uh, when you send in that many Valks they can shred through lava walls I have seen this four heal 20 plus Valkyrie attack where you just keep them healed and they beat through walls like nothing anyhow those Valks are now locked onto this queen what he recognized with his little queen chamber is they're going to jump back into that open moat so as long as he kind of gets everything pushed through the heroes are going to go down just like they did there no big deal right Valkyrie still in there doing work, has a few hogs. They cleared out that compartment, protecting that queen as she's walking around doing cleanup. Again, I think he wanted his queen to go in, but remember how small the funnel was? So the Valks and everything went in and cleared out these initial buildings. So there's nothing, no breadcrumbs to draw that queen in out other than the outer buildings. So that's why the queen took a walk there, but no big deal because he protects her with hogs. Hogs are in, all the fences down. Clean up Archer on the outside, clean up Minnie on the outside. Treat in the bag for my man, Jacob. Nice hit, buddy. A little bit off in that EQ, I think. Maybe you can tell me in chat whether... Uh, I don't think that was intentional. I think you meant to get that one little corner section and then that other corner section. But is what it is, and it is a treat in the bag. So, uh, amazing work, KC Chiefs. Always a pleasure to match up with you guys. Um, you know, hopefully we're on a little more even playing grounds because I can definitely fully confidently say if we did not have those extra six bully attacks to use and it was all town hall nines it would have been a whole different ball game for you guys it would have been a basically dead even score i think and uh came down to percentage one of those kind of style wars uh you guys had some really nice hits up top right you got uh yo yo in there with uh, a bit of a bully you know your town hall 11 bullies were spot on right because you got a six seven eight and three star all of those kind of evened it up for you if you had just been able to clear those nines with the nines uh you would have given us a serious Serious run for our money there, uh, even with our advantage. So, uh, fantastic war to both sides. Uh, I think I'm just going to call it a day here. I got to go ready for work. Good old Saturday night. Plus, when I'm done work tonight, I get to do uh, my hits in our failed arranged matchup. We had meant to match up against one of the Reddit clans. I forget. Um, one of the fair play Reddit clans. But we ended up matching up against uh, Dark Looters instead. And uh, as we all know, or if you guys don't know, uh, Dark Looters is one of those top German clans like Perbach. Um, you know, Know, they are just absolutely beast so we are in for uh we are in for a show here uh however i will say those guys are uh some seriously classy germans over there they did have an extra town hall 11 that they uh already uh reached out and agreed said hey if you guys have your bases set three hours before the war uh we will have our extra town hall 11 uh put his expo and his eagle in the corner of the map 
and attack as a uh, attack without uh, their warden as a town hall 10 so basically even the playing field completely so this should be a crazy good war really looking forward to that one anyhow guys that'll do it here for your wisdom from wiser trying to help you bag that next tree star till then i'm out